I'm Tom from Pack Hacker, and in this video, we're taking a detailed look at the Zoji Rushi stainless steel mug that I've been testing for the past two weeks. This is the 16 ounce version. It's very lightweight and it's small. It doesn't take up much more space than the liquid inside of it. However, it does pour a little bit weird. So let's dive in and check out the details in this review. All right, so the main material on this is a stainless steel and it has this black matte finish to it. I think it looks really nice and uh, they have a ton of different colors and styles. So we'll link to this one over on our website if you wanna get the exact link. Otherwise, if you wanna check out their site, they just have so many different styles of this thing. Um, so on the outside, yeah, little Zoji Rushi logo on the bottom and then there's just uh, some stuff on the bottom here as well if you wanna take a look, made in Thailand which is rare. I feel like I don't see a lot of things made in Thailand, at least over here in the States. Um, so yeah, just like a very clean finish. I just wanted to bring in the Yeti Rambler too to get a bit of a comparison on the sizes. So you can see that the uh, diameter of the Yeti is quite a bit wider. And then empty, this is, well, this is 16 ounce capacity. This Yeti is 18 ounce. Empty, this is around 19 ounces in weight. Empty, this is, 0.09 ounces. So considerable weight difference as far as travel goes. The Zoji Rushi definitely beats out a lot of other water bottle brands that are heavier and it still keeps beverages really hot. So in my two weeks of testing, I've had almost kind of a hard time drinking out of it. Let's get back into some of this stuff. So there's a lock here where you can lock this top part. So if I press, that lid does not flip up. Once I unlock it here, press that button, things flip up. You can see there's a little bit of tea down here. This is from basically a week of drinking tea, getting a little bit of staining, but that will wipe right off. So I just wanted to show you how this looks and how it wipes off. It, it'll wipe off quite easily um, with you. So I wanted to show you that. And then, yeah, this flips open. You can see there's this kind of stopper mechanism here. It's like a rubbery material, which stops the liquid and kind of plugs this little area up here. And then to wash it, it's nice too. So you unscrew this and then you can actually open this up. Getting some water all over here, you'll have to mind. Don't mind. Um, <laughs> yeah, so this comes out, which is great. So then you can wash that separately. And then you've got this other piece here. Now, one of the things that I noticed is pouring with this thing can be a bit of a pain. So I'll show you what I mean in a second here with this bowl. It kind of dribbles out. Now, originally I thought I could pull this piece off and kind of pour it in, but it doesn't really work that way. Um, but so for pouring and drinking, it sort of dribbles out. I don't know if you can see it here, but it's just kind of dribbling out. And it's splashing all over the place, as you can see. And you kind of run into that while you're drinking out of it, or I like to have like hot tea and this thing keeps things hot. So I keep this next to me and I really, uh, you know, like to pour it into like a smaller cup. So it splashes all over the place. So I don't really like that. And then again, since this thing keeps beverages so hot when you're drinking out of it, um, it kind of, you know, can be hard to like cool the, the liquid off as it goes in but they have plenty of different sizes and styles they have like i drink a lot of tea they have a tea version which i'd probably just pick up instead of this one if i was doing that use case of pouring this into a cup so plenty of different things to choose from over on their site but yeah very lightweight small and compact you know very thin very light great for travel keeps beverages hot or cold depending on what you'd like so there you have it the zoji rushi stainless steel mug Head over to packhacker.com for the full review and more information linked down below. We'll see you in the next video.